Hello guys, welcome to Math Practice Prep. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be solving some questions on GED Math Practice um, test um, questions on number sense and word problems. Okay, before we get on to the video, if this is your first time on this channel, please try to click the subscribe button to support us to do more and help this channel grow. And also, there are several. I'm going to put a playlist um, of several other um, videos we've done on to help in maths. About 50 questions solved on um, GED Math Practice test you have a part one and part two is also on this channel and um, also we have a Facebook group if you need encouragement you need a um, uh, follow-up on some particular topics you don't understand maybe you take a, uh, a picture of the of the question post it on the Facebook group definitely I would respond to you by solving those questions so you can join us on our Facebook group I'm going also going to leave the link to the Facebook group in the description uh, box of this video all right so let's get on to solving these questions now all right so we have question one it's, it says veronica drove 252 miles in six hours what was our average rate of speed in miles per hour okay so we're looking for the rate of speed i remember what's the formula to get your rate of speed it's just simply your distance over your time all right this um this is questions on um average okay so, so what's our distance here our distance in this question is 200 and what 52 what miles and the time is what six what hours all right so when we divide this um i think this part you are allowed to have a use the calculator when you divide 252 by six you're going to get what 42 miles per ah okay so this is our answer for this question so her average rate of speed in miles per hour is what 42 what miles per hour our next question that's question two of our gd practice test on number sense and what problem it says round up this is a four million five hundred and fifty four thousand eight hundred and seventy nine to the nearest ten thousand. Okay, so this is where uh, this approximation and rounding up of numbers. And in here, uh, when you have this number, the first um, digit here to our right, the unit. Okay, the second is what your what your tens. Eight is what your your what hundred. Four is what your thousand. And five here is your ten thousand. All right, so we're told to round up what to the nearest what ten thousand. So at this particular where your ten thousand is, the, the the particular digit. So you have five here. Then you check to your right the next number to your right, the next digit. That's your number to your right. Is this number? equal to 5 or greater than 5 if it is equal to 5 or greater than 5 then we can approximate a 1 and add 1 to 5 all right in rounding up but if it is lower than 5 you can't what approximate so our answer here will be what 4 comma 5 5 it's this 4 will be what a 0 comma 0 0 0 so all the other digits so your right will be what a zero all right but if this was a five we can approximate and add up to what uh, a one to five and this would be a what six that's four uh four million five hundred and sixty uh sixty thousand okay but for this particular question here this is not up to five all right so we can round up carry that one so five will remain what's the same that's why our answer is what four million five hundred and fifty thousand to the nearest ten thousand so this is our answer question three of the GED math practice test on number sense and word problem it says if James paid 25 percent of three thousand two hundred and seventy five dollars as a down payment how much was the down payment so the question if james paid 25 percent off okay now interpreting this this is saying 25 percent off which is what multi multiplication then multiplied by what three two seven five so what 
um, is the value of 25 percent of this particular figure and all we need to do is just say uh, 25 will divide by what 100 all right okay and uh, what next okay because this is percentage so it will be 25 divided by 100 so from here 25 here 1 and then 100 will go 4 times and when you punch in your calculator this divided by 4 is going to give us what 818 so this is our answer so we have 818 one dollar so that's the down payment james uh would pay okay that's the 25 percent of three thousand two hundred and seventy five dollars so we our answer here is what eight one eight dollars question four of the ged math practice test on number sense it says a gift store sold a total of $2,640 in gift toys for Christmas Day. And by the way, Merry Christmas in advance. All right. And have a happy holidays and also a happy new year. So for Christmas Day, if the gift, if the gift toys cost $20 each, how many toys did it sell? All right, so we have here a gift store sold a total of $2,640 in gift toys for Christmas Day. If the gift toys cost $20 each, how many toys did it sell? So this is quite simple to interpret. All right, this is number sense and what problem. What it just means is we have to find how many toys it sold, okay? And uh, we told that that particular day, she, he the store sold two thousand and six hundred two thousand six hundred and forty dollars in gift toys, and each of these toys cost for twenty dollars. So all we need to do to find how many toys um, the store sold is just to divide two thousand six hundred and forty by what twenty. That's all we need to do. That's the interpretation. Okay. So when we divide this, we will know the number of toys the the gift store sold so when you cancel out we have this zero cancel out and two here one two in two six four we are going to get a one three two so his um the toy sold was what 132 toys okay so the store sold um, a total of 132 gift toys so this is our answer for this question a final question in this video that's your GED math practice test on number sense and word problem. It says a barber shop attend to 256 children in in four months period. At this rate, how many children did the barber shop attend to in a month? And now we from the question we know that we know that the barber shop attended to 256 children in what four months period okay that's four months now the question says how many did he attend to in a month that's just one month so all we need to do here is just divide two five six by what four okay that period of four to get how many children he attended to in one what month okay and when you divide this what are we going to get two five six divided by four is going to give us what sixty four children all right so he attended to 64 children in what one month and if you want to confirm if your answer is correct all you need to do is say 64 plus 64 plus 64 plus 64 that's a, a, a four months period okay and when you add this up you're going to get a what two five six okay so we are correct so he attended to 64 children in a month all right so this is our answer so we've come to the end of this video uh, to the, of this video today on the GED math practice test on number sense and what problem all right please try to please support us by clicking the subscribe button and also sharing this video if you have any questions please feel free comment ask your questions and I will reply uh, respond to you and if you want to join our Facebook group for further uh, questions to ask and you know relate with other people preparing for um, the GED test uh, please I would drop the link to the Facebook group for you to join and uh, and also a Merry Christmas to you in advance and also a Happy New Year to you in advance and see you in our next video and don't forget Jesus Christ is coming soon give your life to Christ you are destined to win all right see you in our next video